What's up guys, welcome back to Horsepower and Pizza. I actually worked on the sketchy cart today. I built one of the spindles for the front knuckle and the front hub. We'll jump into the shop, I'll show you what I did, and then we will come back here to the office and I will show you how everything is supposed to function now that I have half of the front steering completed. A real quick note, these shirts are now for sale on the website. I still have a couple of these Carhartt snapbacks as well as a few of the caffeine and rage flags. The flags were a gamble. Um, they really paid off. I've sold a lot of them. I don't have a lot left. So if you would like to support and do want one of those flags, I would jump on that sooner than later. I don't think I'm going to do another run of that design, but I will be doing flags again in the future. Let's head to the shop. As you just saw in the time lapse, I just set the tool. Before that, I programmed what it's gonna do. I'm running the CNC lathe today for the first side of it. And while I'm doing the second side on the manual lathe, I can run the first side of the second spindle on the CNC. I also haven't run the CNC lathe in like probably about a month. Wanted to get back into it. I love this thing. It's a Prototrack RLX tool room style lathe. It's got like 60 inches between centers. Personally, I don't think they're the best machines on the market, but for what we do with it here, it does everything that we needed to do, and it helps me on my side projects after hours as well. So the steering knuckle that I've previously made gets this end, the first end, one inch diameter pressed into it. I'm not going to assemble it today, but that gets pressed into there because this is stainless and this is aluminum. Any movement of this against this is going to beat the crap out of this. So when it gets pressed in, I'm going to pin it through the diameter as well to keep it from spinning or pulling out. If the knuckles start to take too much damage, I will probably just remake them out of steel, but we're gonna try the aluminum first. I'm going to take it down to the manual lid, face it to length, put a center in it, turn all this down, this little step in here. It's only 50 thou long. That is just to keep this from locking up on the bearing because this is the hub that will get pressed on this end. It's drilled and tapped because I will be putting a cap through and bolting that one so this can't pull off of that as well. So I'm going to jump back into it and set up the GoPro. conversation before I left the shop so I didn't get to do an outro there so I'll just run through this with you guys real quick this is the piece that I made today it is one of the front spindles this is a 5 8 diameter because this is a 5 8 bore on this bearing I made this to the higher side this is about a thousandth of an inch smaller than 5 8 so it is a press fit this will need to be pressed the whole way on here. It's very tight. I pushed it on this far and I can't get it off. So I'm going to need the hydraulic press to get that the rest of the way. The bearing will shoulder out against this smaller shoulder. The reason there's an undercut on this shoulder is because if this was all one shoulder and you shoulder the bearing out against it, you run the risk of running the inner race of the bearing back into the shoulder and the outer race also being back against the shoulder and that can lock the bearing up. As of right now, this spins super freely as it should. The fit being as tight as it is, is everything I was hoping for. So that will get pushed back against. I'm going to measure this and write it down in my notes. So when I make the other one and if I have to make replacements at some point, I know what diameter this is. 
because it does work very well with these bearings. Overall, super simple work today. I'm really just excited to be back in the shop and building things that I want to be building. I'm gonna be honest, haven't really been feeling it recently and just feels good to be back. With winter coming, I'm definitely going to be working on projects a little bit more now that I have three project cars as well as the drift cart. Things are gonna get interesting pretty quickly. There is definitely no shortage of work to be done and content to be filmed. I'm excited about it. I hope you guys are too. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Give this video a huge thumbs up. At Horsepower Pizza on Instagram, at Pizza Boy Metalworks, at Cold Pizza Podcast, www.horsepowerandpizza.com. Peace out. Build it for you. Mm.